Hey guys, today's one take is brought to you by Chassis. What's that you say? You can't fit a chassis in a bottle. This isn't a chassis for your car, silly. It's a chassis for your balls. Chassis is a powder. You put it on your nuts so they don't get sweaty and gross while you're out doing man things. There's no talc or aluminum in chassis, so it won't clog your pores and it won't turn into a paste when your nuts get sweaty. Watch as I demonstrate on my back. Okay, no joke, that that demo seems silly, but this actually, <laughs> the bag actually just dried itself off. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even kidding, like, that started as a joke, look, but it's actually dry. That's the first and only time I've ever done that. Wow. Look, and even in here, it's actually, look, it's not pasty. Look at that. That's weird. Isn't that bizarre? That, this, these could be your nuts. That could be the sweat off your nuts. Look at that. It's chassis. Now that's a promo. Morning, everybody. Welcome to the Angeles Forest. Uh, lovely day for a drive here. Nice, even light to make the video look really good. Uh, this is Danny, and thank you for joining me, sir. Thank you for having me. With your 997.1 uh, uh, Porsche 911 GT3. You've done some mods. Uh, tell me about the mods. Um, the owner did the mods when I bought previous the car. Owner. Yeah, previous owner. Um, uh, Sharkworks Bypass, uh, Cup Car tow, uh, tow Links. Um, endless brake pads and fluid. Okay, so some basics, just yeah. some basics. Um, the 9971, a uh, little less power than the later cars, a little less torque than the later cars because it's a smaller displacement motor. This mm -hmm. is a 3.6, correct? Yes. Okay, uh, so I think 415 horsepower when new, right? Yeah. Okay, um, and you've also got this this very girthy steering wheel yep. with a flat bottom, which is nice, and the uh, the original owner specked the hell out of this thing. You've got yeah. the white console, the red gauges, the red seatbelt, uh, and what other neat options are on here? I guess black wheels was probably an option. Yeah, you know, the full leather dash and sport chrono. It, is, it is lovely, isn't it? Yeah. How long have you had this thing? I've had this car for about a year now okay. and um, sold my... Uh, 911 turbo 997 oh the one i drove that car yeah. the black one okay yes. Lee. All right. yeah lees well let's have a let's have a go let's see what it's like <laughs> Honda's 
come close, actually. The real, I mean, not in terms of firmness and weight, but in terms of crispness. Like, if you're talking under 50 grand, Honda's by far the best shifter. If you're talking over 50, it's going to be a tie between this and, like, Ferrari gate and stuff. Yeah, which I can't afford. Right. So Unless you want a 328, which yeah. you probably don't. <laughs> But this is, the, like, the way you go on and off the power, the way you go back and forth, yeah. the way you go up and down the gears, everything about it is so lovely. And the, the, the clutch is heavy until you're, like, moving, and then it's not. Like, when you're actually just doing, I'm just going to loop around here, when you're actually doing just a quick shift, it's, like, no big deal. But if I, if I was stuck in a traffic jam, I'd be annoyed with this. Well, I sat on the 210 freeway in traffic on the way here, so... That was uh, lovely on the left leg. Let's see, first, I'm gonna wind out first. Oh, yes. What a great car. What a great car. Yeah, the turn in, like, is that when you get those cup car uh, tow links up front, that just gets your turn in like a little sharper, huh? You know, I, I'm not sure because I wasn't able to drive it with it before, and but. Um, you know, the turn-in has been a lot better since I've gotten the new tires on the car. What and, tires do you have on here now? Uh, Bridgestone RE11. Oh, those, so are, those are good. They grip pretty well. I mean, I've been waiting like a year for Pilot Super Sports, but... Back-ordered? Yeah, they've been back-ordered forever, so I just kind of moved on. Um, We're going to have to wait. The new, the PS4 is coming out in January. Yeah, which is supposed to be the replacement for the, the Super, Super Sports. Sport, yeah. Going on the launch. This car, I mean, I, I don't... I've driven a bunch of GT3s, so forgive me if I don't have a whole lot of new revelatory information yeah. <laughs> about them. But this is just such a nice experience. Does it put up any headaches at all? Have you ever had an no. issue with it? No? Just drives. Drives great. I I did some preventative things. Uh, I took the car to BBI and uh, pinned the coolant, or uh, welded the coolant lines and all that stuff. Oh, okay. The 997s are notorious for... Uh, Dropping coolant lines. Not as bad as the sixes. Yeah. <laughs> God, this car is so good. It makes me so mad that I don't have. I'm gonna buy one of these. I almost bought a 355 a month ago. I'm yeah. not gonna buy a 355. I'm gonna buy one of these. This Great value the for what it is. This is the one. Yeah. The problem is everyone's saying the same thing, and now they're all over 100 grand. And it's really annoying. I just. I don't think they're gonna sustain well over 100 grand always. I, Not I just, when I think the new GT3 yeah. comes out. There'll be some people unloading their cars. The problem is people are so rich now, they yeah. just get both. They don't unload the old one. The rich people are too rich. And us middle class yeah. people that can <laughs> barely afford one of these, we're left holding the bag. I wanna hear it now. Cyclists are fans. Yeah, they're loving it today. They're waiting for that drive-by. I was, whenever I see a cyclist, I'm like, please don't recognize me, because, you know, but then they're like, hi, hey, what's up? This, this car is so money. Yeah, yeah uh, I don't, I don't care what this car is going to be worth, ever, I just, I'm, I'm here to enjoy it and drive it. I don't care what it's going to be worth, I just, I just want it to be worth a number that I can afford yeah. paying, <laughs> that's all. It probably will be once a new uh, GT3 is coming out with, uh, with a manual. I don't want an investment. I want a driving yeah. experience. I need well, I, one of these. I put 10,000 miles on the car in one year. I bought, yeah. it, I bought it last November. What's your daily? Uh, Lexus uh, RX 350 SUV. That's, so, that's a good, that's a harmonious balance. Just a super, super soft car. Yeah. So when I get in this thing. It reminds you of the yeah. space carness. Yeah. These things are just so fun. If you ever come out to Malibu, the Santa Monica Mountains, uh, I, uh, I do. You'll, you'll probably catch me there a lot. I do. I try to uh, try to avoid it because I uh, I don't feel as good about driving there as I do up here. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna loop around, go back up. This is this one though. I don't like I don't like talking about money and stuff on the one takes just because I I feel like if you want to know what something costs, it's easy enough to find out. Yeah. But. This is a of, of of the available GT3s on the market. This seems like one of the nicer ones. I mean, full leather, uh, you know, low miles, good options. I feel
feel like that was this kind of a top of the market car that you just wanted? Yeah, you know, I I, I looked around and and uh, it was funny enough on the forums and when I had asked a question about another car, someone had the the, the old owner just approached me and sent me a message and said, hey, I'm going to sell this thing. Do you want it? And and it was nicely optioned with low miles when I got it. So I said, you know, it, it works for me. Well, I mean, this uh, this this is really, really magnificent. I mean, no, I don't have a whole lot of new things to say about the GT3, but uh, the, the, the Sharkworks exhaust sounds great. Uh, it's, it's loud without being too obnoxious. Uh, the turn in is great. The steering wheel, I really like. Yeah. Um, where'd you get this? Um, it was uh, DCT. DCT. Yeah. It's a nice. It's a really nice steering wheel. I like that. Shifter's perfect. Uh, it, it's. I, I have to have one of these. It's just. It's too. And the air conditioning works brilliantly. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, Thank Danny. You, man. I really appreciate you coming out. This was a great one. Cool. Thanks uh, for check me. out uh, Danny's wheel well to see how this. Porsche evolves over time. I'm sure you will find something to modify uh, in, in great haste. And uh, and thank you for watching. Check out my wheel well. Look, see what's going on with my cars, all that jazz. And uh, we'll see you later. Peace.